guys, it's Alex from Max and BJJ. Check us out on the web at www.maxandbjj.com. All right, guys, today I'm going to show you the crowbar choke. Some of you guys may uh, know this variation of the rear naked choke. And, you know, I see a lot of guys in MMA use it, but uh, there's a little bit of different detail I'm going to show you today with it. So Mike's going to be in my rear mount. I'm just going to take it from a seated rear mount position here so it's easy to see. Um, and I'm going to position you guys here so you can see what I'm doing back here by your shoulder. It's key. I'm not going to go into how we get the rear naked choke because, um, you know, hopefully most of you guys have learned the rear naked choke when you're looking at this video. So the situation where I'm trying to catch the rear naked choke on my opponent, I'm having a really tough time finishing. Um, or no gi, or an MMA where I have gloves on. It's very difficult to get that closure there. Uh, I use what I call the crowbar. So the crowbar choke is a gable grip choke. And you'll see a lot of guys in MMA and, you know, finish the chokes like this, like an S grip and squeeze um, when they can't do a full rear naked choke. Um, there's a way to make this much tighter. So here, as I have my arm around his neck, or it could be even on a cross face with this choke where he's tucking his chin and not letting me get in there. It doesn't make a difference. I'm gonna take this gable grip here, all right? No thumbs, just right over my thumb here. Just over here, all right? And now instead of just pulling back on this choke, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make space. I can use this hand to make space, or I can use this hand to make space, or I could use my elbow. And I'm gonna open his shoulder off my chest a little bit. And what I do is, instead of latching up here with my elbows on the outside, right, which still gives him mobility on his back and my chest, I'm going to bring my elbow inside and close. Okay, so as I make space, I come in between us and now I pull my body in tight. All right, so now as I'm keeping this wedge between us, this palm is facing up, a hand going around the neck, palm down. My ear to his ear, okay, I, this is very important, is I want to keep his head um, stationary where he can't be wiggling and moving and tucking, so I use my own head ear to ear. Here, wedge, clasp, right up on top of the shoulder, ear to ear, or ear to head. And then as my finish, let's rotate a little bit here. My finish here is going to be pulling my elbow back right against his windpipe. I'm using my shoulder and my head pressuring his head forward into this choke. All right, so one more time here. I'm having trouble getting this rear naked choke. I switched to that gable grip choke. Now I go to the crowbar style. Inside. Head in. Again, one more time. However, I get my choke. Can't finish regular rear naked choke. I make space. I throw my arm in between as a wedge. Gable grip on top of his shoulder, ear to head, creating pressure with my shoulder and head, pulling my elbow back to finish. Very tight. All right, guys, one more time. I just want to mention, if you have trouble getting in, we talked about the guy who's, who's tucking his chin. And even if you have the cross face here, you can still finish this crowbar choke here right across his face. Yeah, I mean, the guy's going to get a tap. One thing I want to mention when doing chokes is, and, and this comes down to the, you know, other people call the pussification of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And it's very true. Um, guys are getting too soft. This is a martial art. We're not dancing. This is originally created by the Gracie family for fighting, self-defense, okay? If I need to get somebody's neck, especially competition, you're not going to do it to your buddy in the gym, but competition-wise, I'm gonna get his neck. He tucks his chin, okay, and I cannot get his chin. If I come across under his nose and I raise, and I just start looking to pummel my, ch my chokes through, I'm gonna get that choke. Same thing when I'm looking to get a collar, you see guys or judo guys, they, they cross up here and they, and they shell up and all that stuff. You know, the old days we would learn, take this and you grind this thing in under his neck and you get his collar, okay? But we're too nice to one another, even when we compete. You know, we're not, we're not here, you know, doing dance, where, you know, we're not, you know, we're not doing yoga, we're fighting. We're all the way to cut it. So when you need to get that choke, guys, don't be afraid. If you're on his face, just raise. He's going to lift. You could do it gingerly in the gym and not hurt your opponent, you know, and it's going to go right in. Okay? Thanks for watching. You can click here to subscribe to the channel, click here to watch the next video, or click here to watch the entire series.